So just listening to the story and look at the words that I touch as I read. The story's title is Spud and Snip. Snip and Spud are dogs. Snip and Spud play. Snip snaps at Spud. Spud snaps back. Spud sprints away from Snip. Spud sped past a nest. He stops. Spud sniffs the nest. Spud smacks the nest. The nest is stuck. Spud gets Snip. Snip sees the nest too. Snip helps Spud. The nest is not stuck now. Okay, this time around, we're going to do an echo read. Mr. C first, and then you read. But when you read, read the words I'm pointing to so you're not reading too slow or too fast. Here we go. Mr. C's turn. Spud and Snip. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Snip and Spud are dogs. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Snip and Spud play. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Snip snaps at Spud. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Spud snaps back. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Spud sprints away from Snip. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Spud sped past a nest. Your turn. He stops. Your turn. Spud sniffs the nest. Your turn. Spud smacks the nest. Your turn. The nest is stuck. Your turn. Okay, Mr. C's turn again. Spud gets Snip. Your turn. Snip sees the nest too. Your turn. Snip helps Spud. Your turn. The nest is not stuck now. Your turn. Good job. This time round, I'm going to point to the words and you read out loud on your own without Mr. C. Read at the same speed my finger points. Let's start with the title. Okay, first sentence. Good job. Keep practicing that over and over so that you get fluent, meaning you can read it nonstop, no mistakes, no help needed. Good job.